So I had this dog come in the other day, and it was literally dying from not having any platelets in its body. A normal dog will have 200, 300,000 platelets, and on the lab work, this dog had 5,000. 5,000 platelets. Doggies will start bleeding out anything under 25,000. But for some reason, this dog was not bleeding out. The dog just came in for being lethargic. And that's the crazy thing, guys. Dogs can have all kinds of problems. And sometimes we don't even realize that some of those problems, even on a physical exam as a veterinarian, I can't diagnose it without my blood work. My name's Dan, I'm a veterinarian. We call it an immune-mediated thrombocytopenia. Now, dogs can also have low platelets for a handful of reasons, from infection or cancer or something called peroneoplastic, that's the cancer one. However, most of the time I see it, it's idiopathic or it's autoimmune, and we don't know why, but the doggy has low platelets. Low platelets can happen and when it does happen, the dog usually feels lethargic and they're just not themselves. Some of them even have fevers. What a veterinarian does is they run some blood work. And what comes back is astonishing. The platelet count can be so low that, as I said before, you can have bruising on the doggy's skin. You could even have blood in the urine or blood in the poop. I even had one case where the dog's back hurt or the eyes hurt because the dog was bleeding into those areas as well. Actively bleeding will lead the dog to be anemic and a low red blood cell count, and that can also be life-threatening. Remember guys, a low platelet count can happen to almost any dog or any dog breed, and the only way to know for sure is if you do a blood test. Now, once this doggy came in and we saw that it had a low platelet count, we went ahead and treated it and it did quite well. And of course, we did a couple other things. We looked to see if it had an autoimmune issue, if it had infection, like an ehrlichiosis or an anaplasmosis or a tick-borne disease. And we did these other tests and in the end, we didn't find anything out besides his low platelet count. So we chalked it up to being autoimmune. We went ahead and we put the doggy on some steroids and immunosuppressive drugs and we recheck it pretty darn regularly because it's such a serious problem. In most cases, with low platelet counts, a lot of these doggies get better and their platelet count comes up, they stop bleeding, they stop bruising, and most importantly, they just feel better. It's really cool. If you guys have experienced anything like this with your doggies, please comment below and let me know. In this case, the dog got better, it felt better within about three to five days, and then it completely recovered over months. We slowly pulled back the steroid to make sure there's no failure, and this case can vary a little bit, but in most cases, a lot of these doggies do steer on steroids long-term, if not forever, depending on how they're doing. As always, guys, if you have any questions, my name's Dan, I'm a veterinarian. Thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it. You guys take care, bye.